Okay, so here's the boat stuffs. No big grab proper. Still not safe at night. About over in here, that's locked. I do feel like we might want to do the main quest in this area. Ooh, unless there's something nice here. Looks pretty safe. Because we might find that some more things become available to us once we do. Like we were saying previously, sometimes that is the case. And I'm just noticing that there are a lot of locked doors. And some of that, I'm sure, will truly stay the same. But some of it might change. Okay, here's the stuff that's under the bridge. It's not terribly valuable, but it's something. It's always something under the bridge downtown. Okay, so this part of town we've not yet been in. Let's push all the inhabitants around. Any guards here? There's one there. Yeah. Generally speaking, it seems like this is not the most looting friendly of areas. Got you. You. The well that leads to the sewers that I was thinking might have been a thing earlier, or maybe there's another one. In a different area. Or maybe we'll get a chance to go down there on our future occasion. Wouldn't rule it out. I know this is back in the direction that we came from, but I just want to make sure that we don't miss anything here. Can we try going into this building? Is there a door that, say, leads into this building? That does specifically help. What the devil? Yes, we can go in. A painter? Kind of looks like it. More here. Steel plates is not bad, actually. Should we go through this door? This looks like it's kind of blocked. Yeah, everybody knows if you put a rolled up rug in front of a door, it is completely impossible to pass through it. Even a Witcher can't make it pass. Can't be done. You know that. Actually, it's a, it's a secret uh, SWAT technique. And they're trying to make sure that nobody breaks into the, the buildings. That's the their first line of defense. Really? Okay, this must be the mansion. And I was going to say, I'm surprised to find you guys here in Oxenburg rather than Novigrad. But, of course, we know that Junior is here. So I suppose in that sense, it didn't come as too much of a surprise. Slaughter Sintra, have we read this? The cavalcade of riders pounded across the blood-soaked courtyard. They looked at no one and asked no questions. They knew exactly where they were going and why. Kill the old queen and capture the Sintran princess. As what would become of her after that, no one would say. Alanth, Alanthi, I don't know how you say her name, and a group of her most loyal subjects had barricaded themselves inside the castle. Did they use a rolled up rug? They were protected by stone walls, mm, not gonna work, and a gate sealed by a spell. But they all realized that neither would last long against a concentrated assault by the Nilfgaardian army and the mages supporting them. After four days, enemy soldiers forced their way inside. That is all she wrote. That's long. Hmm. Take the amethyst also. This building also looks a little more lavish than the others. Oh, okay. Don't bump your head. Hmm. It does seem to be some kind of hairdresser as well over there. Which we could see. Is this the same building? This is the one with that person. Can we play you at Gwen? I mean, that's honestly more what I'm interested in than getting a haircut. Well, I don't have much interest in switching that up. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. That's one way to say it. Oh, uh, okay. Also, uh, apparently there's not even a do you want to get a new haircut type of thing. It's just immediately demand that you get a haircut. Um, but yeah, not 
actually terribly interested in this, like I said. I mean, I'm sure there are some interesting combinations so of beards and, and haircuts, yes. Could probably make ourselves look pretty silly. But, for the most part, I, I'm content with the default look here. Okay, let's double check. Where exactly in the city we currently find ourselves? Yeah, I think we head back down to the southwestern corner here. Back in this direction. It's actually upward, elevation-wise. So we've not yet been here. Western gate. Okay, it's a new fast travel location, so that's useful. Not gonna lie, for a second I thought you were Roach because of the color of your clothing. At least from afar, when all I saw was the clothing, I was like, yeah, that could be him. Winds howling. What is it now? So this is the other gate. It does really look like you guys do not want us to pass through. Hello? Huh? What the fuck? Also, hello? You guys are all trying to get in? Yeah, I don't think that'd be a good idea to drop down from here. I'm curious as to where exactly this ends up on the other side. Should we talk to any of you guys? We could attempt to loot some of this stuff right in front of your noses. Again, wouldn't end well, I'm sure. Any and all that stuff. Bad idea, I would think. Kind of curious that there's also a fast travel location on the other end here. We may have been on this side already. Let's double check. This will be more like mainland Velen. Near the Stonecutter settlement, there's a shopkeeper that is, I assume, a traveling one? Maybe not. We might not have been all the way over here yet. I feel like this is large enough that maybe there is a fast travel location here somewhere, and maybe there's a dedicated trader. And this is close to the place where... Is it close to the place where we were originally trying to cross the Pontar? Because it's kind of a different angle. I'm talking about going into Oxenfurt, not Novograd, of course. Something down there. Probably some kind of water beast, like a drowner. Yeah, is that like a little mini island in between Velen and Oxenfurt? No, it's technically still the same landmass. I am curious, though, as to what the deal is with this shopkeeper here. Is said shopkeeper a traveling shopkeeper? Or have they actually fully set up shop here, in which case, maybe they might have some interesting stuff for us. This also looks interesting. I would think there might be something here for us to investigate. Oh, people using this building? Seems like it. Definitely loot in here. There are definitely soldiers in here. You get mad at us. You didn't when I did that. But at the same time, I had some false alarms with you somewhat recently, so I'm a little bit hesitant to go that route. Like, getting you mad at us over water? Not too keen on that. Sure you were bending down before, maybe not paying much attention. It's like, did you, did you steal that water? I'm watching you. Yeah, I did. I did. What are you gonna do about it? Hey, your little friend left. Just you and me, buddy. Think you can take us? That's right. Took that alcohol, too. What you gonna do about it? Eh, the rotten flesh, though, I'll, I'll leave that to you. That one... That one you can keep. Okay. Long live Radovid. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, because it's, like, just built up enough. Feels like... There should be more here. Is this fair game to take? I would think so. I think we're far enough away at this point that we aren't really in sight of those guards now. 
Did the merchant move from the location? Yes. So that's definitely a traveling merchant. Uh, this is where they were before. They're no longer here. But I'm certain we have not been in this precise location before. Because this does not look familiar to me. And sure, you know, we've come across our fair share of these broken down areas before. Certainly invalid. But I just don't think we've spent too much time this close to Oxenford. I think for the most part, we'd gone up to this area here and then shied away for a while from everything in northeastern Velen. And it wasn't until quite a bit later that we actually found the troll there. And... We obviously did go to the Stonecutter's settlement. But I just think for some reason we never, like, saw anything guaranteed on our map in this direction, so we might not have ever thought we had reason to go here. And here, I think those are Neckers. That looks interesting. That's pretty sure where we were just a minute ago, but... Just, it looks like there should be more here. That's the building where the guards were in, right? What's that? Oh, it's a drowner. Really? Drowner making that sound? I mean, not super keen on fighting the drowners if we don't have to. I mean, if you're following us, you're following us. Getting cranky at the very least. Yeah, I just feel like expecting to find a little more here. Not quite seen it. Oh, but hold on. Just you wait. Somewhere over here. We'll find something very nice. Of that, I'm certain. Ravines. Ugh, the. It's a little disorienting. The bridges. No, you know there's gonna be something here. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe emphasis on the not part, but it's a thought that counts. Maybe it turns out that those beggar tick blossoms are gonna be fantastic for us. You just never know. Here is. A merchant. Buy in or just peruse him. Uh, have we Show me what you? you've got on offer. Possibly, what is this? Amber fragment? Have we ever seen this? Amber in general? Gold nugget? We have some interesting things here. Even if you... Oh, Freeman's Weapon Repair Kit? Or for... 11 coins? Not bad. Runestones, runestones. This is what I'm expecting you to have for the most part, though. Four runestones. Yes. And actually, fair amount. High-level weapons here. Even <laughs> this common rarity... Silver Sword. It's higher damage than our current one. Doesn't have the sign intensity or the slight critical chance or freeze chance bonus, but five levels higher is enough to be a difference maker of sorts. This one, how does the damage compare between these two? Seems identical. Even though they're different named items. They're the same price as well, so. No way of cheating your way into getting a cheaper version of something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, definitely, I mean, what I would like to pick up a level 18 silver sword of higher rarity would be ideal. So, maybe that's not best there. We've been selling a fair bit of our junk as of late, so I'm not necessarily sure we have much to offload 
on that front. We did pick up some horse blinders a little while ago. Not that that's a huge difference maker. What I'm getting at is, is this a good time for us to be purchasing some of these other things like the ambers and again meteorites and maybe even or silver, yeah. I can say steel is maybe a little bit harder to make a case for because I think that's easier to make, easier to find. What's not? But, hmm. How much is it exactly? Only 87? Really? That's not so bad. I think we can definitely justify that then. That we can make. We can make it happen. Um, other than that. Man. Is it just me or is this stuff way less expensive than the other time we were looking at purchasing these things from other shopkeepers? Maybe we just chose the wrong person to do that with earlier, but this seems really cheap, comparatively speaking. That just giving us an amazing deal? Is that what's happening here? Like, 15 coins a piece for silver? That seems crazy. That seems totally crazy. I mean, just plain silver, not silver ore. Silver plate is, of course, not a very refined version, and therefore doesn't have that much, uh, or isn't quite as useful, but still, for what is usually a quite limited item, I think that's still a very good pickup. You seem to have some very good stuff here in that case. I don't know, obviously the amber is very expensive. Is that typically more valuable than even the silver and meteorite stuff? Iridium? I don't know. Do not know. So on one hand, it's catching my attention, so I'm tempted to try to purchase it, but at the same time, could we? Maybe not. Maybe not. Can we dump a little bit more things like monster slime? Oh, well, it's not super valuable. Other things of note here. Don't want to get rid of the silver. Like I was saying, we have a lot of the leather straps, but it's not exactly a valuable thing to sell. I think for the most part, we're looking for the items that drop from monsters very, fairly frequently that actually have a surprising amount of value to them. Things like the ear, maybe not so much, but the tooth, the bones, the venom extract. I mean, they all just add up. What about... Linen? Mostly just through volume? Pearls? Those are... Crafting items, yes. I don't know how many of them we really need, but they're worth a decent amount, so that could be another way. Pick up more of these items here. Anything else we would consider selling to you? No, not much that you buy off of us. We don't really want to be selling. Weapons or armor. Can we do some junk stuff? Yes. Oh, we can now equip a higher level crossbow, notably. Oh, we could. Could still sell these, but this one's only worth 13. Let's go with that one then. 14. I think we saw some of these were going for in the... Well, yeah. Seemed like they were going for twice as much the specialist earlier, or I mean, it was just a, an armor smith, so I thought that it wasn't worth quite as much as it would be if sold to a, a weapon smith, but I didn't realize there were what seemed to be three tiers. There's a generalist, which is who we're selling to right now. Armor smith, who is not someone who deals in weapons all that much, but apparently does still pay more for them. And then there's actually the blacksmith, who is specializing in weapons that I thought was the only person who pays a premium, but maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe there's more layers to it than I realized. So long. Okay. I thought we'd been here. Maybe not, though. Don't seem to get mad when I do that. Though we will break our ankles on whatever that was. Those hides 
probably uh, better to sell than the weapons we were just trying to give that guy. Yeah, still not mad at us. I mean, if we were trying to steal the things directly in front of him, that would probably change. Yeah. Interesting. Is this location, like, right here where we once destroyed a monster den? Because that looks like it. Kind of feels like it. But maybe not? You're kind of looking at us here, but... I don't know if that's fair game. Didn't seem to have you react, but at the same time, like I said before, we've had those guys be a little bit more trigger-happy as of late than we've seen in the past. We head up too far north here, we are at risk of approaching that area where that very powerful monster is. There are more Redanians over here, though. Yeah, there are a ton of Redanians here, for sure. Talking about them trying to take the uh, well, Oxenford, but also, of course, Redania as well. And, uh, well, I suppose that is easier to do when you have as many people nearby as they do right now. How close are we to that section we were talking about before? Well, it's all the way up there. So not very close. We're in a bit of a different section. Yeah, it really does seem like this is just a little pocket of Velen that we've not spent much, if any time, exploring. So, interesting to see that there are still those areas. Uh, you look like you are dead. You are a level 2 fool who will proceed to eat me. Ooh, another one, okay. Several of them, actually. Oh, how dare you. Get me before I got the chance to re eat me. Really hoping to get the other one as well. Oh, uh, a little slow on the dodge there. And by a little slow, I mean very slow on the dodge. That should take care of you. Still, I thought one more here. Well, maybe not. You might be the last one. Okay. So again, things like blue blood, monster eyes, they actually do add up quite a bit. Even if these are very simple enemies. Because they're typically quite plentiful. They usually do add up quite quickly. So I was kind of thinking that maybe we'd see by taking you guys out we'd get notice of some kind of quest here where oh, here it is though wolves try to take out that person. We might have been here before. This looks familiar, because, yeah, this was, of course, a monster nest previously. I do remember that. Bee's nest there. I saw that. I saw the option to loot it. Briefly. Ever so briefly. I mean, sure, I'll, I'll pick up a claiming bee's nest. Oh, my. Another one over here, somewhere. Maybe this one will cooperate a little bit more. Not sure that it's necessarily worth the time and effort to... Okay, don't... But yeah, it may not necessarily be worth the time and effort to go through and track down every last one of these nests here. Also, like, we can't pick them up. And they aren't uh, much use to us. So... And we have absolutely been here before. Yeah, this is a uh, place where one of the nests was. A Necker nest. And a Necker that I believe at one point in time was stuck in our parasol. So. Yeah, I think at this stage, maybe we do head back. Good to explore an area that, like I said, I'm not sure we've had much time, if any, to see. At least parts of it. 
this, presumably, oh, the, yeah, like this has the monster nest marker here. We absolutely have been here before, and I do remember, not so long ago, commenting on how they were getting a little too enthusiastic over here. That's cool to see that they re-inhabited an area that we cleared out. And this might have been an area as well that also had foglets before. Stay out of my way, you <laughs> Or that might have been further up north and east by where the uh, major basilisk was. Yeah, let's not take that. Yeah, add up all these Redanians. There's quite a few. Where is the merchant? Yes. Let's head back. Go to a fast travel location, which, to be honest, might have found that, yeah, like, maybe even Roll Fort. Fatably closer here. We'll need to cross the water, I do think. We're gonna have any Unwelcome guests. So well, there are some over there. Might actually avoid them if we go this direction, though. Okay. And yeah, I think let's maybe make a point now of doing the main quest in Oxenford. Anyone over here in the marshlands? Doesn't seem so. Because we explored maybe not every last corner of the city. You know, somewhat similar to what we saw there with Velen. There are oftentimes little areas that you have not quite seen in their entirety. And Foglet. Yes, are we, are we going in the right place now? No. No, we are not. Is that following a quest marker that was leading us to Novograd? Yes. Yes, I was not our green marker. It's like this looks like the area I was talking about mere moments ago with all the foglets that's close by the place where that big monster is. This is what we're really looking for though. Oh, trollolo. I'm there. Who is that? Trying to bend it? Okay. I like how he was in the middle of trying to sort of like make the slitting his the throat gesture. Say we were going down, and as he was in the middle of doing that, we burned him. But yeah, maybe think twice about that. Oh no, actually that's who we're tracking down. You got the wrong guy. Okay, as for you, generally junk, yeah. You look a little bit bigger, more heavily armored, maybe. I was kind of expecting it to say bandit leader or something along those lines, but apparently not. Either way, down you go. And they're quite close to the troll, in fact. Don't worry, buddy. Keeping you safe. Alright. So let's head back into the city, and yeah, I think maybe like the southeastern part here we may not have gotten a chance to look at in its entirety just yet. Other than that, though, I think we've done most of it. But I think that, like we were saying before, by doing the main quest in there, we might see more stuff start to become available to us. Some of the doors become unlocked, or there are generally more people to talk to, or it will just send us to different areas of the city, and so we'll have reason to explore the areas that we've not yet been to. And, you know, all those things. Hopefully. Okay. So, let's actually mark that quest on, because I think, yeah, it still it always defaults to Skellige. 
this is the one we're looking for, right? So, I mean, again, it's not super clear to me, at least for our primary objective, what the purpose of tracking down Junior is. Because, I mean, we're mostly trying to get Siri, right? And... This guy, like, how does he help us get the Siri exactly? I mean, we're trying to make friends with some of the other... Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, my hand slipped. <laughs> Let's tell you what. Why don't we save real quick in case something terribly awful happens here? Because, you know, we are about to try to speak to these henchmen here. But yeah, like, we were kind of trying to get information out of Siggy because we had reason to believe that he knew where Dandelion was and we want to get to Dandelion because Dandelion has reason to believe where... or we have reason to believe that Dandelion knows where Siri is, that being the ultimate objective. But how does this guy fit into that picture other than just trying to affect the balance of power in Delin, Novograd, Oxenford? What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? Junior ought to know someone sniffing around. Hmm. Oh yeah, we are we're here about the girls though. That's the thing. Here to talk about the new girls for Orson. Never seen you here before. That must be the mask. You know him. Can't say that I do. Your <laughs> memory is junk. Nah. Well see, you would recognize me. It's just that I'm uh I'm currently doing my amazing bird impression. So uh, I would understand why you yeah. wouldn't be able to tell the well, thing. No, but Cleaver happened to him. Poor son. Bad in the die of consumption. Remember? He looks a bit on the down slope. All right. But next time, remember to bring the tarts for Junior through the back by way of the old canal. Go through there. Thanks. I'll keep it in mind. Ooh. Okay. Use the secret passage. I'm saying if I were to like try to go through here, would they get mad at me? Probably. Probably not worth giving that a shot. Oh. <laughs> this location actually would have been Western Gate, would have been right on what we're looking for. At least to get to this part of the estate. But this is what we're actually looking for. And that is exactly the section that we've not yet been to, so fitting. At least I don't think we've been here yet. This one little corner. So maybe we'll take a second. Check it out. See what kind of herb this is. Sure. Pretty good one at that, so not bad. I mean, it looks nice down here. The architecture is pretty cool, but... There just doesn't seem to be too much yet. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Same with that, perhaps? Yeah, there's uh, not too many people for us to interact with at the moment, it seems. Level 15. Lower armor. Better resistance to some kinds of damage. It is still light armor. Slightly lower level, though, so... Makes sense. I think we'll probably stick with what we have at the moment. Again, this just is... The other side of this same fast travel location. Just making a point of looking around a little bit. Eh, that's actually not where I wanted to go. And a good thing we did to pick up some meteorite for sure. Highly uh, refined version as well. Not just ore, but ink it. So what, if anything, what can we find here? That's locked. <laughs> I bet it's going to be that sewer area that we were talking about earlier. That I suspected we would be finding a way into. Or what? Doobly on the other side of that wall. What is this? Oh! Here's a blacksmith. Hold on. We definitely want to talk to you. We have some stuff we'd like to sell you. So, ooh, some fancy stuff at that. So we have some junk we'd like to get rid of. How much is this worth? This is the, uh, I was gonna say the same amount that we saw trying to sell to the, uh, the armorer earlier. I think it is 
think it is. So in that case, earlier I was speculating, maybe there are three tiers. There's the, genera there's the generalist, the specialist, but not of the right variety, meaning like you're selling weapons to an armor or armor to a blacksmith. And then there was the third tier of you are selling weapons to the blacksmith or selling armor to the armor. But it seems like those last two groups that I was just saying are one and the same. There is no distinction between them, at least based on this. Pretty darn sure those are the same prices we were seeing before. This is a... Well, I was gonna say maybe not a terrible weapon. Yet it was still not worth much, but... It was still pretty bad. You're worth a little bit more, but probably still worth selling here. As for some of the... Relic weapons that are... Lower level... We used them once before, but I think at this point, chances of us going back to level 11 weapon are pretty darn low. As you can see, 0% durability. We definitely used this one a lot. Oh, you don't have enough coins. It's close. Not quite enough. You do have some crafting recipes, though. Check those out and some of your items as well. If you have a good silver weapon, even if it's slightly too high of a level like this, I might consider it. Ideally, it would be higher rarity, though. This is way out of our league in terms of level. This one, pretty far out of our league. At 19, I would consider. Anything much higher than that, probably say no. Is this a pickaxe? It is a pickaxe. It has a lot of damage. It's still lower than the amount we have now. So I guess most of that's the damage is coming from it just being a high level item. Yeah, I think most of this stuff is pretty stock standard. That's an interesting colored crossbow. Pass on the bolts. Thank you. Your silver. I'm pretty sure that's more expensive than the silver we saw from the other person previously. But I'm most interested in thinking your crafting recipe. See if you have anything other than just runestones, but that might be it. At some point in time, yeah, we probably should make a point of actually picking them up. And they do cost a bit. You consider that there are a zillion of them. That pick up all of them would start to add up. Now, some of these are lesser. Some of these are not lesser runestones. They're a little bit better in that sense. But it does seem like, yeah, everything is a runestone. You do also have the amber... The Amber Fragment. Whoa! I think this is twice as expensive as it was at the other person. So yeah, other person seems to be the guy we ought to be looking for to buy these things. As for the meteorite, how is this in terms of cost? Of course, on this occasion, we see that there are other things that we would potentially want to sell to this guy. Some old, relatively rare weapons that are worth a bit. So this might be worth making a point of doing here. If we do that, and maybe even pick up a little bit more. Things like the silver plate is very expensive. So, I mean, I don't really know in terms of prioritizing silver versus meteorite. Seems like meteorite's a little bit harder to come by. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe I'm just kind of blending together the gray and silvery colored metals and meteorites a little bit easier to distinguish because it's purple at least it has a purple tinge to it i don't know either way let's pick both these up and then let's sell some of those other weapons and see where that leaves us like this is level 11 I think that's pretty safe to sell this is two you can't afford this notably so maybe that is reason sell more stuff. This is just level 10. But it's worth even more. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff actually to sell to you. You know what? I think we go pretty crazy here. Buying this. Unless that's like... I feel like that could be quite overpriced. Ironing it. I didn't pay close enough attention to what the costs were on some of those things. What is this? Elven whetstone. I think it might be, yeah, a crafting item to make other uh repair items. The dark iron has also been a little bit tough to get. 
would be worthwhile too. Let's go with the silver plate, I think is, it may be expensive, but it is like the super highly refined version of silver. So I think in that way it is valuable to us. Now suddenly this guy has a ton of monies. We should be able to sell all of our level 11 and 10 things. There we go. This one's 14. We probably do want to hold on to that. It does technically have a little bit more damage than what we're currently using. We did pick this up recently, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. We must not have checked it, because this looks intriguing. Slightly more damage. Perhaps because it is a little bit less speed up. But it's not that much. It has slightly less critical damage. Oh, no, we did do this comparison, didn't we? So I remember looking at the difference between the critical chance. Chance to bleed, breeze, dismember. They're close. They're close. Would we be interested in selling this and or this as well? Level 12, level 13. I mean, we don't have great silver swords right now. So if anything, we'd like to just get a better silver sword. We could potentially do here if he has one that we could... Uh, craft. But uh, I'm a little bit hesitant to, to part or to part ways with these um, when we don't yet have a clear cut upgrade. So maybe we do make a point of picking up more stuffs here. And now that this guy has more coins, we can sell more to him. So, or we can proceed to buy more of his valuables. Dark iron. Silver. Now I think we've done the big stuff here. We could perhaps do steel plates. Those aren't terribly expensive. Maybe we do that too for that reason. Feeling it's sure. Dark iron or that starts to add up a bit more, but now this guy is back to being quite rich. We should not have much holding us back here besides. Let's hold on to this one. And I think we sell this. Can we sell this? Yeah, they have minus 49 damage. That's definitely safe. Yeah, you still have a lot of monies remaining. We could sell this. We could probably sell this. As we were saying before, maybe able to sell these for slightly more to actual armors, but possibly not. But they aren't super valuable anyway. I think that's probably fine. We do hold on to those because they might be like roughly equivalent with our, our current boots, so it's kind of a matter of preference. They're worth a bit. We probably do sell you. And then the chest plate was also somewhat close. Ooh, or was it? Was the cat armor really that much better? doesn't have as good resistances of some varieties. I think these do sell more at the, the armor. I feel like I saw some higher numbers there, at least in the case of those chest plates there. So strange in that sense, because it really seemed like some things were selling for the same amount between those two vendors. Some things were not. I don't really know what to make of that. But uh, maybe I just wasn't quite paying close enough attention to it. There were one or two things that I wanted to dismantle as well. Thought we picked up, what was it? It was some kind of metal recently. Not the fiend dung though, I am kind of curious. It turns into ashes, what? Okay, maybe best not to ask questions there. Uh, we could of course break down things like caskets, what does the Marian Special Forces insignia turn into? Just leather and thread. That's not that interesting, but candelabrum does turn into some ingots. So that's nice. Potter knife turns into some ore. That's not bad. As does the casket. The high can be a little bit hard to get, so sure, let's do that leather. I do think we have a reasonable amount of that. I do kind of like to just sell the furs outright. 
there is the thing that I was thinking about earlier. Not that. So it kind of looks like that. It's like a chunk of metal or something that's very similar to metal. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not seeing it here. Not the gargoyle does. So it's something that looks like this. Or so I thought. Not the coal. It's this. No, it's not that. Uh I don't remember what it was. So maybe we pass on that, because we could be here for a while. In that case, silver ingots, no. Well, pure silver is actually better than silver ingots, okay. Oh, definitely break down the silver candelabrum, no question. As for the gold ring, we probably do want to do that as well. It only costs 10 to do that. I mean, if we sell it, then... Presumably worth a bit, but gold nuggets are probably worth more, or at least can do more for us. So let's, yeah, I think we break both those down. Okay. And from here on out, I think we're looking at some pretty minor things here. We should be good. <laughs> 